Hello friends, today I am going to teach how to draw assembly diagram of DC machine. So here is the problem statement. Uh, here you need to draw the sectional end view of the DC machine. For that all the dimension he has given. So let me open this AutoCAD first. So first initially you need to set it for A4 size. For that type limits. Enter 0, 0. Enter. 297, 210. Enter. Zoom. Enter. Or enter. Next, select units. For the type units. Enter. And select here centimeter because all the dimension he has given in centimeter. In the assembly diagram of the DC machine, you have to start from the shaft. For that, select circle. Click here. Select diameter of the circle, type D, enter. So, diameter of the shaft is 6 cm. So, this is the diameter of shaft. Next, select circle. Select center of this first circle, type D. Now, here you need to enter internal diameter of armature stampings that is 20 centimeter enter 20 so this is the internal diameter of armature stampings next you need to add external diameter of armature stampings for that select circle select center point of the circle type d for diameter enter now external diameter of armature stampings is given that is 38 centimeter enter next for this you need to add area so that is 0.4 so 0.4 into add for this external diameter of the armature stampings so thickness of the air gap is 0.4 from the uh, armature right so here you need to add you need to select circle select center point of the circle type d so now we are selecting here diameter so that uh, 38 plus 0.4 plus 0.4 so it will be 38.8 now you need to draw pole main pole for that draw one vertical line from the center of the circle select ortho initially you have to draw pole arc so for that he has given pole, pole arc is equal to 63 percent of pole pitch so pole pitch is pi d by 4 so if you add d value that is external diameter of armature stampings 38 centimeter then that value becomes pi d by 4 into 63 percent that will be 18 so 63 percent of pole pitch 0.63 into pi into d d will be external diameter of the armature stamping divided by p so number of poles are here p uh, number of poles are 4 p is equal to 4 so that uh, if you calculate if you substitute all the values in that formula then you will get the value of pole arc so that will be 18.79 divided by 2 so that will be 9.4 so select offset 9.4 enter select vertical line as a reference click to the left side and click to the right side now this length will be your pole arc join this two point so this length will be your pole arc next you need to add pole height from this pole arc total height of the pole that is 14 centimeter including pole show so type offset 
center 14 centimeter center now this will be the edge of your pole show so you have to take this line as a reference click here select that uh, horizontal line and click above now again type offset for this add thickness of yoke that is 5 cm above the pole there will be a yoke enter so select this horizontal line as a reference click above then pole width is given width of the main pole is equal to 12 cm so divide by 2 offset 6 enter click this vertical line as a reference select that vertical line and click to the left side and click to the right side now he has given dimension of your interpol winding that is Six centimeter cross two centimeter, and interpole dimension also that is ten centimeter cross four centimeter, and main pole winding that is seven centimeter cross three centimeter. So first, what you have to do? First, you need to draw a circle which will pass through the main pole, and one more circle which will pass through. The yoke point. Now draw one horizontal line somewhere here. Now he has given the main pole winding that is 7 cm cross 3 cm. So 7 cm is a height and width is 3 cm so from this horizontal line you have to come down so that will be 7 cm so type offset enter so select this type 7 select this horizontal line as a reference click down next select width of the main pole for that type of set enter 3 enter select this line click here and this line click to the right side now select all trim this portion Select all these lines and delete it.
to insert these vertical lines one by one. So this is the main pole. Now you have to hatch this winding with the different hatching. Now select here and see thirty-seven. Select this rectangle. Decrease the size for that scale into select one to five. So this is the main pole. Here you can draw bolt. So like this half portion of the bolt you have to draw. Set this and go for mirror. So this is the bolt. Now you need to draw interpole section. So interpole section dimension he has given that is 10 centimeter cross, 4 centimeter. For that, select here. Rectangle. Click here. Select dimension. Type D. Enter. Length of the interpole is 10. Enter. Width of the interpole is 4. Enter. So rotate this. Next, interpole winding dimension he has given that is 6 cm cross 2 cm. So, for that, draw lines from the center of the rectangle. Now, height of the winding he has given that is 6 cm. So, offset select. 6 by 2 that is 3 enter now extend this line type offset enter 3 enter click this horizontal line as a reference click above and click below select this horizontal line as a reference click above click below then width of the winding that is 2 cm offset enter 2 enter select this as a reference for that you can draw one line above here and above here type offset enter to enter so this is the interpol winding now trim this portion
I can delete this lines. I can show the hedging with the cross line. So this is the interpol. Next slot he has given uh, size of the slot that is 3.5 centimeter cross 1.5 centimeter. So for that again select rectangle select dimension D in that length of the rectangle that is 3.5 centimeter and width is 1.5 centimeter so this is the slot rotate this now go for array in that you know to select polar array center point you know to select for that pick center point you know to select this is the center point of the circle so four poles are there so type four select object that is main pole so complete pole course you need to select enter ok so it's a four pole next select array now you need to fix interpole with an angle 45 degree for that again you need to select center point of the circle now first you need to draw the line with an angle 45 degree for that select this vertical line enter ok so that would be 8 number select object enter now here is the line with an angle 45 degree with respect to main pole now in this line you need to fix this interpole so rotate this interpole with an angle 45 degree rotate click here and enter the angle 45 degree select this copy the base point so this point you need to connect paste it so this is the interpol next go for array there are four interpoles select center of the circle there are four interpoles select object only this interpole you need to select enter ok next you need to fix this slot copy with the base point it's a slot Now delete this external diameter of armature stampings. Trim this portion. Now go for polar array. Set center point of the circle. So there are 32 numbers of slots are there. 
so enter 32 total number of items select object enter okay so there are 32 slots are there over the periphery of armature now I join this slot with an arc you can join with the straight line also then go for polar array select object select this line enter ok so it's a slot it will be placed over the periphery of the armature Now you can hatch your portion and then see 31 with the scale 0.25 this is a complete assembly diagram of DC machine So this is the complete assembly diagram of DC machine. It's a end view of a DC generator of given dimension. Thank you for watching this video.